be talking about today what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 25. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge and discernment to make the right choices and decisions today, Father God, not only for the betterment of us, but others as well today. And we thank you for that. We pray that you guard and protect us and our vehicles, our loved ones and their vehicles, our leaders and their vehicles, others and their vehicles and the animals as well so we're traveling to and from different locations just drive for us today father god send down our guardian angels to protect us we thank you for them give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do just work in us for us and through us today father god and protect us from others and others from us Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. And Father God, we pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin whether it be in word, thought, and or deed, that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and anyone listening today who has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior. We pray John 3, 16 over you. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in you, will not perish but have everlasting life so if you prayed that prayer with me today you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted jesus as their lord and savior for it's not by works so that no man shall boast and there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven it's only through that perfect sinless life that was jesus being born died buried and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father God, we just thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. Help them in their daily walk and relationship um, to get into prayer with you each and every day, just like what we're doing now, talking to you, listening for your voice and obeying what you tell us to do. And help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible, and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here today. 
God brought you to the channel so you can get saved. Pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name and all God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 25. So if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 25 and we'll get started. Thank you. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem and his mother's name was Yehoadan of Jerusalem and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart now it came to pass when the kingdom was established to him that he slew his servants that had killed the king his father but he slew not their children but did as it is written in the law in the book of Moses where the Lord commanded saying the father shall not die for the children neither shall the children die for the fathers but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together and made them captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers throughout all Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them from 20 years old and above and found them 300,000 choice men able to go forth to war that could handle spear and shield he hired also a hundred thousand mighty men of the Lord out of Israel for an hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it. Be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy, for God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim, to go home again, wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. And Amaziah strengthened himself and led forth his people and went to the valley of salt and smote of the children of Seir ten thousand. And other ten thousand left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive and brought them unto the top of the rock and cast them down from the top of the rock that they were all broken in pieces. But the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back that they should not go with him to battle fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria even unto Beth Haran, and smote three thousand of them, took much spoil. Now it came to pass, after that Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites, that he brought the gods of the children of Seir, set them up to be his gods, and bowed down himself before them, and burnt incense unto them. Wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against the Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet, which said unto him, why hast thou sought after the gods of the people, which could not deliver their own people out of thy hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with him, that the king said unto him, Art thou made of the king's counsel? Forbear, why shouldest thou be smitten? Then the prophet forbear and said, I know that God hath determined to destroy thee, because thou hast done this, and hast not hearkened unto my counsel. Then Amaziah King of Judah took advice and sent to Joash, the son of Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us see one another in the face. And Joash, king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Judah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughter to my son to wife. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon, and trode down the thistle. Thou sayest, Lo, thou hast smitten the Edomites, and thine heart lifted thee up to boast. Abide now at home, why shouldest thou meddle to thine heart, that thou shouldest fall, even thou and Judah with thee? But Amaziah would not hear, for it came of God, that he might deliver them into the hand of their enemies, because they sought after the gods of Edom. So Joash the king of Israel went up 
and they saw one another in the face, both he and Amaziah, king of Judah, at Beth Shemesh, which belongeth to Judah. And Judah was put to the worst before Israel, and they fled every man to his tent. And Joash, the king of Israel, took Amaziah, king of Judah, the son of Joash, the son of Jehoiaz, at Beth Shemesh, and brought him to Jerusalem, and break down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and the silver, and all the vessels that were found in the house of God with Obidodom, and the treasures of the king's house, the hostages also, and returned to Samaria. And Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, lived after the death of Joash, son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, fifteen years. Now, the rest of the acts of Amaziah, first and last, behold, are they not written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel? Now, after the time that Amaziah did turn away from following the Lord, they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish, but they sent to Lachish after him and slew him there. And they brought him upon horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Judah, and that's the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Second Chronicles chapter 25. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today. And until next time, bye.